Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. What can I do for you? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. It sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh no, I'm not falling for that again. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It's been amazing. Angaran expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. I take you work closely with the Nexus Science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one. And Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the Geths. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The Initiative obtained data from an array in deep space, a Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition, there's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist? Convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, they were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Think, think. I need something. Who are you talking to? Ryder, shit. You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just.
talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. Don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. Ugh! What's your usual solution? Usually, I cut bait. Scram, strike out on my own. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius. It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. That's all I need to hear. And this should do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mmm. Ah, oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? That's the spirit. Wanna fool around? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. I'm into you, PB. I'd want it to mean something. Oh. Huh. Good to... no. Let's not rush things. Just enjoy this. Kadara port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. In the absence of any others, it's an excellent one. Guess I can't argue with that. Anything else to go over? I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. How are you getting along with the team? I'm keeping it light and pleasant. Even Lexi isn't exactly what I'd expected. And Jal... I'm learning what makes him tick. We're lucky to have an Angara with us. Asari can mate with all Milky Way species. I find myself wondering if that transcends galactic boundaries. I'm certainly not looking to reproduce anytime soon, but he seems like a good guy. What do you think? Are you trying to make me jealous? Maybe. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. In the armory. They aren't just conquerors. Or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jaw faces every day, now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. 
I talked with Drac, putting ideas together, expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father. They always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Ket. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. We got it, Ryder. You patched up the Asari flight recorder? Some old access codes, a little data recovery from Sam. We have the Asari Ark's last heading. Nav points are set. We can head there whenever you're ready. Remember the survey ship? This might not be pretty. Are you... Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before the Ket do. Anyone know how dangerous Axul is? Why were they allowed to speak with him? They aren't children anymore. We can't control their every move. You remember how you were. Please, Jarl. <sighs> I'll bring them home. Are you okay? Three of my brothers and sisters have joined the Rokar. Luxul has poisoned them with his hatred of aliens. And your mothers want you to bring them back. The Rokar have made camp at the forge. Many consider it the birthplace of our civilization. Luxul likely believes this bold move will create more fanatics for his cause. Ryder, he has my family. But I don't think I can do this alone. You don't have to. Just tell me the time and place. Hmm. No hesitation. You are a good friend. I have a contact who's been monitoring the Rokar. I'll set up a rendezvous with her. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? Why is that on your mind? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while you and Sam were cheating at poker. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. It took you this long to figure that out? I told you. I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oosh. 
The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. So you want to have a child of your own? I... I don't know. That's never been a thing for me. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gun moved on before I was born. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Hey, I turned out all right. He did his part. Brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. Damn it, Sid. What's going on? I get influence with power players, only to have it squandered by a sister calling in favors under my name. Do you know she got the genome for... Oh, what is it? Cats. Pulled from storage. One, there's no place to grow anything right now. Two, it seems they aren't even a food. So why? Lots of people love cats. They make them happy. I don't think we're in a position to put amusement over necessities. She just doesn't think. Tries to help everyone, damn the consequences. And she thinks what we do is so exciting, but doesn't really understand what it takes. How can she, when you keep trying to shield her from your work? I just... didn't want her to grow up before she had to. Like I did. She's shown she's ready. Trust that. You can't protect her forever. But what if she gets herself into another mess? What if she gets hurt? She'll have you to watch her back. I hate it when you're right. She's going to go her own way, no matter what I do. If she does it without my help, she'll run into even worse trouble. Thanks for helping me with this. I swear, my sister isn't going to drag us into an ambush again. Shy's tough. Reminds me of my mom. Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. We'll talk later. I know it. Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. <laughs> 